the six of pentacles in reverse did want to fall out okay we have the start in reverse here Virgo. you're losing hope and faith in a connection you're feeling very very um you feel like giving up or you already almost have you're not being able to wait for the divine timing is what i'm hearing or you just don't have enough faith that things are going to work out between you and the person you're dealing with could be dealing with someone who's not committed, okay? Or someone who you want this person to take action towards you. You want this person to pursue you probably for marriage or take your uh, relationship to a high level of commitment. But either this is what the person is not doing or this is you who's just backed out from a connection and not making that move towards this person, okay? You could be dealing with someone very indecisive or someone who just lacks the confidence. Could also be dealing with someone who still is not ready to step up the game, okay? Very selfish energy. Someone who probably is non-committal is again what I'm hearing, okay? The star usually comes after the tower, I think. I think so, but I think that you're going through a breakup or you already have or you've separated, okay? And you have no... Um, Faith or trust in the divine that things are going to be okay between you guys. Give me Virgo's feelings. The hangman in reverse here. I think you've released yourself or wanting to release yourself from a situation that uh, you were stuck in for a very long time, okay? Could be dealing with someone who has a very, very hard time seeing the situation from a different point of view or from your point of view, okay? But this person could have kept you on hold. There was a lack of action from this person, okay? But yeah, things were definitely uh, stuck and stacked in between you guys. Nothing was moving forward, all right? And uh, now you definitely are coming, snapping out of that stagnation mode and wanting to release yourself, okay? Because, yeah, with the tower in reverse here, there could be someone who's wanting to, uh, you would just want to avoid a disaster, okay? You just want, want to avoid chaos, or you just don't want to create a mess. Um, could be dealing with someone who's very, very stubborn, okay? Someone who's dug their heels and just not ready to see, just not ready to budge, okay? Five of Cups, there is a lot of disappointment, okay? that you're dealing with okay there's a lot of crying over spilt milk you're still stuck on the past investing your energy into a situation that's already dead gone okay it's over but the five of cups it's a very very low vibrational energy it's almost like sitting all day and thinking about what went wrong thinking about why it happened um and why only you etc okay but yeah five of cups you know but with the five of cups the good thing is there are the three cups that are lost, okay, but there's still hope with the two of cups here, okay, and that's something that you don't have right now. You're not seeing things in a positive light, okay. I understand you could have gone through something, something very, very bad, something very bad, okay, very traumatizing, but again, that's something that you're not being able to hold on to. You're not being able to hold on to that trust and faith, and you're, you know, you're, I'm getting you releasing yourself from a situation that where this person had kept you very, very stuck. But with the five of cups here, you know, if the, the problem here is if you stay in this five of cups energy for a very long time, you can literally be heading towards depression and that could lead to a lot of inaction. Okay. So yeah, there's a lot of crying over spilt milk. You're not being able to get over what happened in the past year. Could, if, if this is not a situation that has to do within this relationship, then maybe there was something in the past that happened where you're still stuck on. Either you've not been able to heal from whatever happened in the past in another relationship, a previous relationship that you had, or it's within this connection. What are Virgo's feelings? Give me Virgo's feelings for this person that they're dealing with in love. Yeah, with the world here, I think you've ended things with this person because you could have definitely been dealing with a player with the Knight of Wands in reverse here. You could just be dealing with someone who's in and out of your life, okay? You could even be wanting something very stable from this person. Or maybe you already had something stable with this person, but this person's inconsistency with you, okay? Uh, this person came out, came off as something, someone very, very unreliable to you also, okay? Very insincere. I'm almost getting like this person with the Knight of Wands here. Yes, it does have a bad rep, but I'd also that, that I'd also say that um, sometimes what happens is that uh, the person that you're dealing with, they're in it with you, but they still don't know what they want. Okay, maybe Virgo, you always wanted, you always knew what you wanted. And this person, they were in it with you, but they never knew what they wanted. Maybe you both were standing together, but looking in different directions. That's what I'm getting, okay? But yeah, with the world here, you've ended things with this person, okay? Again, with a hangman in reverse and the world here, I feel you've released yourself from this situation. And you've ended things, you've ended a cycle with this person. This could be, could have been a karmic relationship. Uh, could be a long distance relationship, okay? Could be distance between you guys, okay? But you feel you've successfully completed a cycle with this person, okay? I don't know if you want to start a new cycle with this person. Give me one more card for Virgo's feelings for this person. 
Ace of Wands. I think you're wanting to move forward. Okay, with the Ace of Wands here, I think you're wanting to move forward and you're wanting a brand new beginning. Could be with this person, but doesn't look like, okay, with the world and the Ace of Wands here, it could be that you want a new beginning with this person. You want to start a new cycle with this person. This could not be for every Virgo watching this video, okay? But for some of you or a few of you, I feel that you've ended things with this person or with the Ace of Wands here. I'm getting you want a brand new beginning somewhere else. You're fed up with this person. You've given up hope. You don't think that things are going to work out with this person, okay? And uh, I feel you're giving up and you're moving on. You're moving forward. You're no more staying in that energy of um, feeling rejected from this person. Maybe this person could have rejected you on a number of times. Maybe they made you... You were very dissatisfied within the relationship, felt neglected, or probably this person never offered you the entire package. There was constant emotional breadcrumbing. There was a lot of breadcrumbing in this relationship. And it wasn't something that was um, keeping this relationship up to the mark. Okay. You probably wanted something very, very specific from this person. Could be commitment. Could be anything. Okay. But something stable. Something that holds value. And that is something that this person wasn't being able to offer you. And that's why you felt rejected. You felt um, like you were not getting um, the love and the attention that you always wanted. And now you could have been in that stag stuck in stagnation mode for a very long time. And you're finally clicking out of it. Yeah. With the two of pentacles and the two of wands in reverse. I'm getting there was someone here, you know, who was probably holding back a decision. Okay. Could be someone who was probably constantly juggling you with another person. Doesn't have to be. Or this was just someone very indecisive that you're dealing with. Two of wands in reverse with the two of pentacles. Okay. This is, again, a lot of indecision. A lot of indecisiveness. Okay. And because of that, with the moon here, okay, there was a lot of uncertainty around the situation. See that? It's th th This means the same thing. This is also a lack of decision. This is indecision. And this is also someone, if not indecision, this is also someone who's trying to stay safe. Someone who's trying to, either this person has a fear of change. That's why they're choosing uh, to stay, uh, uh, to make a decision that does not push them outside their comfort zone. Or this is just someone who's holding back a decision. Someone who knows what they need to do, but they won't do it. Okay, anything. But yeah, there was a lot of dis uh, indecision around the situation. A lack of clarity, a lot of fear of the unknown, okay? And that is probably what could have screwed up this relationship. Okay. Tell me, what is the person that Virgo is dealing with? Give me the feelings of the person that Virgo is dealing with and love. What are the feelings of the person that Virgo is dealing with in love? What are the feelings of the person that Virgo is dealing with in love? The death. Yeah, they clearly know that you've ended things with them, okay? They clearly get it. They get it that you've ended things with this person, okay? If not, this person definitely wants a rebirth, okay? The death does not always mean endings and not wanting to do anything else with the same person it could also mean rebirth right it could also mean that this person wants a change they want a transformation okay they want everything to change they want something brand new they want to shed the old uh and they want to let the new come in okay we're gonna see yep ten of cups either this person's ending ended a relationship okay a family situation this person could have been married okay or this person is wanting to end a relationship or a committed relationship that they are in or this person with death here that wanted to come in with change and this is what they want with you they want the ten of cups with you okay we have the tower in reverse here this person is definitely wanting to rebuild with you okay Either this person is trying to avoid a disaster, but I'm not getting that so much. I feel that this person, uh, you've already had the tower moment. You let the tower fall with this person. Breakup, separation. There was a huge shakeup within your relationship. But yeah, now this person wants to come in and they want to clear the mess. They want to clear the mess. They want to rebuild with you, okay? They want to build a very strong structure with you. And with the death here, I'm getting a complete 180 degrees transformation, okay? You probably will be very surprised with this. This is also what I'm getting, okay? With the tower in reverse here. Yeah. But with the four of pentacles here, I'm getting that this person, um, they're holding on to you. They're not going to let you go, Virgo. 
I don't think they're wanting to let you go. They're holding on to you very, very tight. They see you as someone very, very valuable, someone who uh, they would want to build a life with, but someone who's very precious, someone who, um, you know, it's like they, they're holding on to you because you add a lot of value to their life okay to this connection to this relationship you've probably even taught them a lot in this uh connection okay whilst you're wanting to you know start a new beginning somewhere else and ending things with this person this person is literally dreaming of having something very stable with you they're coming in with that change uh give me more what is this person going what is going on in the person's feelings that worker is dealing with in love then see they want to take control of the situation. Okay, in the past, probably this person did not take control of the situation. Again, I told you, right? The king of wands in reverse here. We also saw that when I was doing your feelings, all right? They want to come in. They want to come in and they want to take control of the situation, okay? This person's ready to boss up. They're ready to um, step up their game. They're ready to regain control of the situation. Again, the emperor does not always uh, mean someone who's ready to express their feelings, okay? This is someone who holds back their feelings. They're not very expressive with their feelings. But yes, definitely someone who wants structure, who wants commitment, who wants something stable, something solid, okay? He's the married king, right? He's also someone being very, very mature, okay? So yeah, this person's going to make a very logical decision or already has. Give me one more card for this person's feeling for Virgo. Damn! We got the King of Pentacles. This person genuinely is coming in with commitment. This person is ready. That's what I'd say. I think this person's ready. The Emperor, the King of Pentacles, okay? This person's ready. They're coming in with that change, with the death here. They've completely transformed themselves. And with the Tower of they want to rebuild. They want to make this connection. They want to get this connection alive or if you've almost reached that brink of uh, a breakup separation right they're trying to avoid it they think that if they let you go it's going to be a fucking disaster it's going to be a big screw up they don't want to mess up things with you they're holding on to you fucking fucking tight Virgo. i don't think they're letting you go they're coming in with that commitment they're coming with everything that you ever wanted but the ace of wands in the world here it could also mean like i said for a few of you Virgo, that you definitely want a new beginning you want a new cycle with this person and you're looking forward to something passionate or it could be that you've ended things with this person okay and you're looking wanting a new a new passionate beginning somewhere else or it could be anything it could be work job career um anything that you're very passionate about okay so there are two sets of workers that i'm looking at out here okay but you i saw i see you Virgo, my friend i see you as you releasing yourself from a situation because you don't you and have hope and you've been very very disappointed with this person okay five of cups is it calls it could also be a lot it's a lot of remorse regret about what happened in the past okay but yeah your focus is all on what went wrong rather than focusing on what can happen or what can go right their focus is why you were i mean you know probably even moping or you know you probably want let them go this person's coming in with that change i don't think you're going to see this coming yeah i don't think you're going to see this coming it's going to be quite surprising for you because they're holding on to you. Very, very tight. Page of Pentacles, they're coming in with something stable. Again, Page of Pentacles is also commitment. It's a small attempt, but the Page of Pentacles is also an apology. It could be a gift, it, but it's definitely something tangible, something that holds substantial value, okay? So you know, when they're coming in with a communication, that's not gonna be bullshit, okay? It's definitely someone who wants to talk about something that makes sense, okay? It's not the Page of Cups, you know, with that emotional, flirty, lame ass offer but um yeah this is definitely someone who wants to make things right with you they're waving the white flag they want a peaceful resolution with you they're ready to work towards this yeah see eight of wands they want forward communication they want to talk now they want to talk now they can't wait they want things to go from zero to 100 like in like 30 seconds like quick 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 let's move this forward really really quick and they're ready they look ready to me, Virgo. Absolutely ready. So that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope this reading resonates with you. Leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.